Could we use electronics to treat diseases? Could we use electronics to write signals to our body to restore health? Could we even program the electronics to be in unique for each individual? Current disease treatment is dominated by the use of drugs. So drugs act globally throughout the body, causing side effects. And drugs are one size fits all. Our nervous system, however, modulates every biological process using neural impulses that are electrical in nature. My research focuses on realizing electronics that can um, directly modify these neural circuits and their seamless integration with the body. So electronics can modulate biological properties with explicit spatial and temporal resolution. A major obstacle in realizing these electronics is to find a way to power them. Battery is large. We are engineers, we know how to miniaturize electronics. Nearly all existing devices, uh, impoundable devices like the deep brain stimulator, are relatively large due to the bulky power supply. To eliminate it, energy can be transferred wirelessly from an external source, like the first pacemaker back in 1958. Since then, most existing approaches have followed similar uh, mechanisms based on very large coils operating in the near field, like the charging mechanism of our electric toothbrush. So could you believe it? <laughs> uh, I challenged this 50-year-old near-field paradigm and showed that energy can be efficiently delivered to small coils embedded deep in the body by operating in the near field, in, by operating in the midfield regime. Based on this new discovery, we demonstrated a pacemaker that is smaller than a grain of rice. We also <coughs> demonstrated remote mind control. A peppercorn-sized optical stimulator was implanted in the primordial cortex of rodents. When the remote control sent the signals to the device, I was amazed by the mouse began to run in these circles around the cage. So these micro devices speak the language of our nervous system. They are not trying to control our body. They are trying to listen and to communicate with it. Conventional medicine, on the other hand, are trying to overpower our body by, you know, to remove or to replace part of it. The electronic approach provides an alternate way to restore health. So back in 2015, I took a year off to think of if I can use this electronic approach to treat diseases that are currently incurable by drugs. And I settled on Alzheimer's disease. In the United States, one in 10 elderly aged over 65 has Alzheimer's. And this number increases to one in three elderly over the age of 85. And there's no drug to treat or even to slow it. I focus on episodic memories because their impairments are often the first symptom experienced by Alzheimer's patients. So today I'm at Delpho sharing my research with all of you is an episodic memory. In my brain, a subset of neurons are recruited to encode this experience. So later when I sleep, these neurons will replay and strengthen, needing to downstream consolidation for long-term storage. We can draw the analogy with a computer system. Memory consolidation can be understood as a transfer of information from the intermediate storage in the cache to the long-term storage in the hard drive. In early Alzheimer's, memory loss is mainly due to the failure in, mem in memory consolidation. That is, the newly learned memory has been cooked or stored in the cache. But because of plaques built up around neurons, it has trouble transferring to the hard drive. I'm developing a micro devices that can identify the neuronal assemble we could for a newly learned memory in the cache, such that I could artificially induce memory consolidation for its long-term storage back to the hard drive. In late Alzheimer's, neurons in the cache degenerate and die. Newly learned experience fail to encode. So if we could insert the micro device early before memories are lost, 
it can be evolved into a redundant backup system for the cache. So beyond memory recoveries, the electronic approach has many other possibilities for the treatment of other diseases. And we are just at the beginning of this journey. Maybe in the future, you may be able to get this from the drugstore. <laughs> Thank you.